this is a college who created a photography course on it. They actually said they had to find the bad pictures, not on Scran, because Scran's pictures were all good. That's a lie. You know, um, but you know, it shows you what uh, people can do. They have that online in their college. Uh, this is a, this is a SQA uh, for art, and this is a set of prelim papers that were produced using uh, Create. So, this is the more important bit. Know this is like if you know the Dune movie and books that she says at the start. Know this. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm as clever as that. But here's some of the things we think we've learned uh, from that. You have to know what you're attempting to do, and it's, it's easier to show it this way rather than going to a complicated um, explanation. Are you doing this, or are you doing that? And if you can't see the difference, I'm not going to tell you, right? But the point is. Actually, there's an expectation from the user about whether you're doing this or that. And you really have to know it. Because if you don't know it, whatever you produce, they'll never use. And I'll tell you now. It's the colours are the wrong way round in one of them. Okay? And that's important. Hardly anybody looks at the top. You know? But it is important. It's one of these kind of hidden things down underneath that we don't actually recognise. But I was in a villa yes, a, a, a couple of years ago and they had the taps round the wrong way and they were in French. <laughs> and every morning I turned on the wrong, wrong tap. It, 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 it just does prove, it proved the point that actually very simple little things about consensus in the environment are really quite important. And when you're developing a website is it this or that? And I've kept this one, this is from a long time ago, this is when Blogger started up. And you don't know the shock that went through the internet when Blogger started up, because everybody looked at it, this was the front page, and it said to you, Blogger, create a blog in three easy steps. It was about nothing else. It didn't explain what Blogger was about, it, was a it didn't explain its company background, it just said, create a blog in three easy steps. And it's something that William mentioned earlier on, these are services. And you have to get the service value articulated right up front. What are you about? What do you do? And it's what we're all used to on the internet now. Think about it. When Blogger came out, that was kind of new. But if you look at the websites now, websites are very, very specific. You go to them, you know what they do, you do it, and you're either satisfied or you're dissatisfied, and you either come back or not. And the other question is, and it came up in William and uh, uh, the other chap's talk, is basically, are we talking about corporate things or are we talking about service things? And the difference here is the corporate thing is that the local authority, um, the national government or whatever, will say, you have to have all these things on it, Right? And by the time you put all these things on it, your service has gone from that size to that size on the page. And it's about expectations for, for customers. Do they want all the corporate stuff or can you bundle that away? I'm not saying get rid of it. So let's work out how we try to find out what people are uh, wanting. We offer training. But our training comes with a kind of slight turn to it. When we provide training, we're watching you. We're watching how you interact with the service. So we show you how to do some things, and then we watch you how, how you do it. And we record that. We also put out questionnaires and things like that. We ask people, and biannually we collate that. We try to do this synthesis run. You know, five people have said that this is a problem. How is this a problem? What should we do to solve this? What's the change that we can do? And we try and build our development site, uh, uh, cycle on this. And we try to build on successes. So for instance, Create uh, started with a few templates and has got a whole bunch of templates in it now because people kind of liked it. And so we just kept adding things. And we've got a list of other templates we want to put in it at the minute that we're not going around to put again. And the other thing is, and this is about me actually, delete pet ideas. I had this fantastic idea. <laughs> which was that to get people over the hump, there was a thing you could press at the start, which was show me how. And you clicked it and it said, type in puffin or whatever. You typed it in, 
and the th they, they show me how followed you. And we had it implemented. So the search results came up, and there were all the puffins, and it said, now pick one. <laughs> right? Whatever. So I thought it was fabulous. Nobody used <laughs> <laughs> and for a year I defended at our sort of review meetings, you know, the staff all said, we should really get rid of that, and I'm like, excuse me, I'm the boss, <laughs> you know, we're not getting rid of this. But ultimately in the second year, it came up again, and I went, ah, okay, <laughs> it's rubbish, get rid of it, get rid of your pet ideas, and actually, nobody complained <laughs> when it disappeared, <laughs> okay, so people don't bother. What have we learned also? Finding stuff is no longer enough. It's doing things with stuff that counts. People want to do things with the stuff. It doesn't matter what it is. Sometimes it's just engagement. We have a corrections uh, facility on Scran. Do you know the amount of corrections we got? We get thousands of corrections. And they're all from these people that are really massively interested. There's a guy who's interested in double-decker buses. And his major piece of research that he found out was by going through all the double-decker buses on Scran, he found out something that double-decker bus experts had always suspected. The Glasgow Corporation Transport never bothered to put license plates they put on its buses. It just, when they took them in for sort of service, it just took that stuff off, did the service and slapped any old one that was lying there on it. And by looking at strand photographs and looking at the, the, regis the registration plate and the registration number of the bus, he was able to prove that, <laughs> you know. And I think that's fantastic. I think that's absolutely brilliant. But he started by saying some of your double-decker bus uh, uh, records aren't correct. And we've had Speedway pe people, we've had people who are retired harbour masters, the train mob as well. There's a whole whack of these people out there who actually really will engage with you and really will in, uh, you know, assist in, in developing your service. And again, that was something we took on and developed further because originally our collection system was just a wee form and then somebody sat and did it. And we thought we need to get this better because we've got too many of them. So it now goes into a system, any member of staff can pick it, it shows you the record they were looking at, you see their correction, and you can just go bing, 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 and it sends them a thank you email back with a link to the record that they've changed and says, thank you for your correction, we've implemented it, what do you think? And we get thank you emails for our thank you email, okay? But it's a question of just working it through uh, for folk. It's theirs, not ours. I mean, we all know this, by the way, but we all make mistakes. Can you see the mistake in this menu that Arcams has been using? Is I can use this now because we're refreshing the website on Monday, so this will go. So you've only got to the end of the week to look at it. It's our collections. It's our work. It's not. It's theirs. If you're using it, you have to be part of the community. You're engaged in it. And as soon as you start putting these messages up, you're actually distancing your audience. Watch your specialist language, there's been mentions about that before. Listen to the user, even when they're telling you the utmost guff, listen to your user. Because there is actually sometimes a germ of usefulness in there. So if you put up any barriers to uh, customers, you're actually making it difficult to receive opinion of what makes it work. Synthesize what you've uh, been told. I've already mentioned that. We're not going to go through that again. Do simple things extraordinarily well. Create is dead simple, but we've tried to do it quite well. At the start, we had a uh, hesitation when we were watching some users, and that's because we put all the options in the front page. I was down at BEC, the British uh, Technology Conference in Olympia, and I was watching a guy from Apple showing iPhoto. It was the first version of iPhoto. And he had just one thing that they did on each page, you know, as they progressed through. So we chat to him afterwards, and I said, what about all this three clicks? No one says that. Do you remember that from the internet? There was a rule in the internet, three clicks had to get you there, right? And he says, oh, that's rubbish. People just want nice, simple things. Take it one step. So we reconfigured uh, Create to be one choice, one template, one data in, one click to create your PDF, one click to save it, all on separate pages. And people just went, and the first one, which we put in, which we didn't have, was one that came up with a, the same picture and said, are you sure? And guess what? When we should watch people doing it, they were like, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> but see when it all came up at once, well, how do I get out of this? 
It's too complicated. So keep it, keep it nice and simple. Scalability and sustainability are very important. Scalability is the issue of you've developed something and actually at the back end you've got a really manual system and what happens is your demand goes up and can you cope. So think about scalability issues before you even start. If you're going to offer a service, you're going to have to offer it for a thousand as well as for one. You just have to face up to that. Wonderful design can conceal, not reveal. I had a lovely design that was made for me which actually had the search bar uh, built in below an image halfway down the screen and it was grey on grey. And the designer wouldn't listen to me so I took it to a group of people and said, find the search bar. Do you know one person out of ten found the ruddy search bar? Because we've all got expectations that the search bar is... Yeah. Okay. Your site must grow and flex, face up to endless beta, that means you're trialling me things. Your site does not have a 10 or 5 year or 1 year uh, life. It is a service, it's not a site. A restaurant isn't predicated on the notion the last time it was painted. It's predicated on the notion of the service it provides as a restaurant and the food it serves. Okay, so actually see when you hear people talking about, I've put my site up for 5 years and that's it done. They, they, they don't know what they're talking about. And think about building tools that are grasped instantly, paste the user with one focus of time in the iPhoto example, and meet and just in time. So it's not Photoshop, but iPhoto. And the stats, remember the websites of periodicity. I'm always alarmed when people keep asking me for monthly figures. The figures go up and down like a yo-yo per month. And actually, because Scran is mainly an educational service, our figures are lower in the summer. Guess why? So if I compare month to month figures, for half the year I'm going like that, for the other half of the year I'm going like that. I have to compare this October to last October, you know, to, to see what's going on. And websites all have uh, slight differences in that. So, change and progression are important. Build part by part. Keep it captivating and moti motivating. Service values matter. Beware a fabulous flash HTML5 JSON experience. We've all heard that from a designer or a, a programmer. It's either a service or it's not a service. And a great tool will be returned to time and time again. And customers, it's okay, it, it fib, but that's okay. But it's not okay when we fib and we say that, uh, the thing that we're doing is wonderful. Through all of that, don't despair when some users can't find help, although it's a huge button in yellow on the front screen and every screen, or can't find how to order images, or 101 obvious things. Some people do think you need an aerial for the internet. You don't. Thank you. <laughs>